Good evening, I'm Camden Cohn, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Last night, the Nebraska women's basketball team defeated Illinois 56-48. to The Huskers were led by Jazz Shelley's 17 points and 6 assists, and Alexis Markowski added 14 points and 15 rebounds for yet another double-double, as Nebraska improved to 12-4 overall and 4-1 and in the Big Ten. The Huskers will be back in action Sunday afternoon at Minnesota. It's a busy night of Husker athletics, starting with the fourth-ranked Nebraska wrestling team hosting number two Iowa at the Bob Devaney Sports Center. There's the potential for four of the ten matchups to feature top 15 wrestlers. If you can't make it out, it will be televised live on the Big Ten Network at 6.30 Central. Nebraska women's gymnastics is set to compete in, its, in the first annual Sprouts Farmers Market Collegiate Quad this weekend. Other teams in the meet include Arizona, Boise State, and North Carolina. The meet is slated to start at 8 tonight and can be watched on the ACC Network. And finally, later tonight, Nebraska men's basketball faces off with the Iowa Hawkeyes as they look to improve to 14-3 and 4-2 and and in conference. Tip-off is scheduled for just after 8.30 tonight with pregame coverage starting at 7.30 Central on the Huskers Radio Network. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Hour one of Sports Nightly up next, right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. Huskers ball, high right side, Mass shoots up another three. Got it! He's three for three. Rink Mast. She will reset with 12 on the shot clock. Once the screen gets it from Markowski. To the right elbow, back out top. Markowski will shoot a three. You betcha! Ties the game! A three-pointer by Markowski off the assist from Hayden. Lawrence with the ball. Cross-court, mid-court to Tominaga. Shoots up a 30-footer. Got it! Bang! Bang! A ring! Tominaga with a three. Goes off the bounce. Goes behind your back. Works foul line. Pots for three. Top of the key. You betcha! Natalie Potts, the Big Ten freshman of the week with a triple. Ball knocked free, out of bounds, saved by Alec, clips it into Boogie, down the floor. Here comes a dunk by Jawan, hammers it home with the right hand. The net gets caught up on the rim. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. And happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're staying safe and staying warm. Holy snow. It's the most snow I've ever seen in my life. It is crazy out there, but I um, hope you guys again are, are staying safe and um, looking forward to a fun night of Husker athletics on the Big Ten Network. As Camden had in the ticker, we've got wrestling coming up 6.30 and then men's basketball coming up following that on the Big Ten Network. But if you are driving into wrestling right now or if you're making your way up here or around campus, we've got men's tennis tomorrow. Uh, we've got track and field all weekend. Uh, they did put out a notice, uh, Husker Athletics did, that the uh, specifically at the Big X Bridge intersection at Salt Creek Roadway and Antelope, Antelope Valley Parkway, uh, adjacent to the Bob Devaney Center is uh, that specific location is uh, to really proceed with caution. Use caution there as uh, traffic increase road conditions could be uh, really impacted there. So just use caution as you approach the Bob Devaney Center over there over that bridge. But um, yeah, if you can't make it in though, uh, they got all the coverage for you on the Big Ten Network. And of course, Jake and Kent will have the call for you right here on the Huskers Radio Network as well. Well, a big congratulations to Amy Williams and Nebraska women's basketball bouncing back, and they have now moved to four and one in conference play, twelve and four overall with a, a big win over Illinois last night. That was that was a big win. This is an important stretch here as uh, Nebraska has a couple games that you know you could potentially move to six and one, and that puts you in a good spot moving forward. Alexis Markowski, another double double, but I thought it was really really good to see Jazz Shelley get going again. She had a couple of uncharacteristic games. And, uh, you know, she, she bounced back last night. It was Australian night, so fitting that she did 17 points, six assists, five steals, five rebounds, and was four of seven from three point. But, you know, it was close battle. Illinois kind of battled back, but finding a way to win. And they locked down defensively and really made things hard on the Illini, on the, um, really on the defensive end, the Husker. So, really, again, just uh, congratulations to them, and they'll be back in action coming up at Minnesota Sunday at 2 o'clock. 
I also, I also, I guess I should mention, Greg Sharp is out tonight. He's out for the next week. He is traveling to Hong Kong to go see his daughter. So I'll be flying solo over the next week or so. But Cole's here, Camden's here, and next week we're going to have some help from Damon Benning. He's going to step in and help us out a couple nights as well. And we've got coaches shows, but lots of fun stuff coming up. As uh, we'll give Greg some time off to go see his daughter there, but uh, yeah, I should have mentioned that off the top. But that's why, if you're uh, tuning in, where is Greg? Greg will be—you'll miss his voice for a little while, but he will be back. Um, another big news today: um, college football. Regarding college football, Nick Saban, of course, announcing his retirement, but Kalen DeBoer is going to be his predecessor. He was the head coach at Washington. He took over at Washington. Uh, his first season was in 2022. Before that, he was at Fresno State, but uh, led the Huskies to the national championship game this season. What's kind of interesting about all of that, the portal window has closed. It closed on January 2nd, but they have made an exception to the rule for players who are at a program where your head coach leaves. So now the portal window is back open for 30 days for players at Alabama and now at Washington. And who knows, as maybe this sets off another coaching carousel to, as they now will look to fill the head coaching spot at Washington. But at least for now, that portal is open for Alabama players and Washington players. They thought it was closed, but uh, you know, the, the Nebraska has had a lot of big news uh, regarding the transfer portal and getting some big additions. And so uh, when Damon's in on Tuesday, we will dive into all of those and, and really dive into the additions there and what they're bringing to Nebraska. But I uh, feel like we've brought some news regarding the transfer portal for Nebraska uh, every single day this week, but uh, some big additions to the Husker football team. But yeah, that, that could maybe set off some more dominoes across college football uh, with the coaching carousel, but also with the transfer portal open for those two programs. Uh, Nick Saban did do an interview with ESPN and said that I felt I could have done a better job if I was younger. I just don't think he necessarily likes the NIL world and the transfer portal world. And uh, so probably not really his cup of tea as where he had established that Alabama program before. So stepping aside, I'll bet we see him broadcasting on a network. Now it's gonna be a bidding war to see which network uh, hauls him in to be uh, an analyst, be a voice there in broadcasting. But uh, what a career. And, yeah, we'll um, be paying close attention now to see how that kind of changes the landscape here in the uh, next few days, in the next few weeks, but then also moving forward in the, in the upcoming years as well. Other big news in college football, Florida State has been handed some punishments, and it's really unprecedented. This is the most serious and uh, the, the biggest punishments that the NCAA has handed down in the two and a half years since NIL has uh, been in effect back in June of 2021 or July of 2021. So Florida State has, um, yeah, two and a half years um, since this thing, and, and the NCAA is finally trying to regulate a little bit, but it's it's been a little bit out of control. And you're, we've been asking for the NCAA to maybe step in and, and try to monitor some of that, try to lock it in some of it and so this is the first time that they have handed out this these kinds of punishments and i'm trying to find uh where it is right here but it's a pretty pretty lengthy list of um th things that they'll have to go through florida state are going to have to battle and here i think i found the list here okay so two years of probation a scholarship reductions of five percent over the next two academic years a reduction by seven in official recruiting visits for 23 24 um uh, recruiting a limit on recruiting communication for six weeks over the next two academic years and communication with athletes in the transfer portal from April 15th to the 21st, a reduction by 18 evaluation days this spring and a financial penalty of 1% of the athletic department budget. They also are not going to be allowed. The school must disassociate from the NIL collective for one year. And uh, as a part of the disassociation, FSU cannot accept assistance from the collective, and the collective cannot contribute to the athletic program in any way. So it, it, go, it dates back to a transfer portal issue and a coach and a booster trying to give or a, the, uh, yeah, a collective, the collective and a booster trying to offer a NIL deal for a, a guy that was in the transfer portal. So, yeah, this uh, it was negotiated between the NCAA and Florida State, but we'll see if this is the first of many or if this is uh, unprecedented. But I, I'm, I'm actually glad that the NCAA is stepping in and handing down some, some punishments because it, it needs to be regulated a little bit. There are some schools that are not doing things by 
the right way and uh, by the rules. And so, uh, you know, it's just kind of been the wild, wild west. And so finally to see some punishments coming out from the NCAA, I think is a good sign. And, and hopefully they'll try to rein it in a little bit because it did get a little out of control. But it's a great thing, obviously, in a big part. And it's not going anywhere, but just a matter of trying to regulate it just a little bit, try to monitor it just a little bit so that schools aren't just, uh, it's not a free for all for any school everywhere. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to pass along those uh, college football news, but we have lots more Husker news to get to. And we're gonna talk to Jake Muleheis and he and Kent had a heck of a call the other night as uh, Nebraska knocked off number one Purdue. So he's standing by in Iowa and we're gonna get uh, his preview coming up for the matchup tonight on the road at Iowa, but also look back a little bit. We had a lot of texts coming in about uh, the, uh, the Purdue game and the call with Kent and Jake. Had a lot of fun with that one, so we're going to revisit that. But uh, make sure you keep it right here. we got Jake Muleheisen coming, out, coming up on the other side of this. Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. In America, the future belongs to everyone. Let's create yours with the built Ford Tough Truck. Ford F-150 with impressive max towing capability and available pro trailer backup assist. So navigating tight spaces is as easy as turning a knob. Plus, with available pro power on board, you have power on demand. Be future ready with Ford F-150. Now get 2.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There's no community like a Cenex community. And that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. In America, the future belongs to everyone. Let's create yours with a built Ford Tough Truck. Ford F-150 with impressive max towing capability and available pro trailer backup assist. So navigating tight spaces is as easy as turning a knob. Plus, with available pro power on board, you have power on demand. Be future ready with Ford F-150. Now get 2.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Not All Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Not All Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Nautil Company is building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. 
and Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, Midwest Premier, John Deere Dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. We've got a big matchup tonight for Nebraska men's basketball as they look to uh, build off of what they did on Tuesday night, a huge win over number one Purdue, a court storming, and what a call it was for Kent Pavelka and Jake Muleheisen. Jake and Kent are in Iowa already, trying to figure out how they're going to get back to Lincoln, uh, but they are ready for the call tonight. Jake, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, what a fun night on Tuesday, the last time you guys were on the air. Yeah, thanks for having me on. And you're spot on, Jessica. That night on Tuesday night was was something special. The the fans that you know toughed it out and made it to PBA with the the snowstorm that we had. They they witnessed something really cool, and you know Kent and I lost our minds there a little bit, but it was a, a lot of fun to call. And um, you know it was the talk of the town on on Wednesday, Thursday. So hopefully, uh, you know the guys kind of came back to reality. I know Kent and I are still on cloud nine, so we have to do the same thing before we tip off here in Iowa City. But it was it was awesome. The court storming and you know, you didn't even realize when the, the court was being stormed that the students weren't even there to do so. So it was really neat looking back at those photos, those videos, that it was all ages, you know, age 10 to 70 that stormed the floor. And it was just a really cool scene there at PBA. Yeah, and the head football coach and AD were amongst <laughs> right. those guys, too. Yeah, so, you, so you, when you storm the floor and they're doing it, you can't get in trouble, right? Right, I know, right? <laughs> uh, Kent, Kent was... Uh, Missing in action on the post game show. He's taking selfies with people. He's celebrating. How was his blood pressure? Uh, how was he throughout the, the whole night and the whole broadcast? That's a great question. So he took his watch off about, I don't know, five minutes into the first half because <laughs> it was starting to go off. But yeah, the game ends, and I don't know how many people were high fiving us and giving us hugs, especially Kent. And so, yeah, he took his headset off. I did the post game before coach came over, and it was just really cool. I mean, I don't know how many photos we took with people. And it was just a, a ton of fun to be a part of, and and uh, hope we hope we can continue that that momentum here tonight. Had you ever been part of a court storming before? I have. We beat uh, number four Oki State at Devaney uh, when I was either a junior or senior, and the and the the student section stormed the court, so that was pretty fun. But uh, never never beat a number one team. We had number one on the ropes when I was a freshman. At KU, we lost by one at home, but. Uh, that I, th I thought the scene on on Tuesday night was really cool, especially like I mentioned, the students weren't there, so it was just a different type of court storming with, with you know, three generations out there enjoying uh, enjoying Husker basketball. At what point did you realize, okay, this could be a special night for Nebraska? I think I think right away. You know, you you look at how Purdue has performed, and 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 if we. When looking at the game and, and talking to coach, if we could jump on them right away, we felt like we had a chance, and we did. We threw a we threw a first punch, and I felt like, well, we have something going on here. And then when we went on that 13-0 run to finish the half, then I really thought, okay, we got some we got some momentum here. And we knew that Purdue was going to come out. They made their first seven field goals of the second half, but we just kept answering the bell, and and different guys stepped up, and you. You know, Josiah Alec makes that three. We were up 51 to 50. He knocks down a three. And what's amazing about his minutes, Josiah played 11 minutes and played really well, but he had zero rebounds. And we were talking with some of the coaches here on the trip. And, you know, when you talk about Rank Mast and Josiah Alec, they were having to block out Zach Eady the whole time. So they don't have the opportunity to get a lot of rebounds. So other guys came in and cleaned it up. But I think it was from the very jump that we thought, okay, we might have a chance here tonight. And we just played really, really well. When they're clicking like that and they've got it all going and everybody's bringing their, what they're supposed to do and playing their role, how good is this Nebraska basketball team in terms of, I mean, obviously they just knocked off the number one team in the country, but how 
uh, competitive can they be with some of the best of the best in the nation? Uh, I think they can play with anybody. I think we have the size and the skill to do so. And, you know, what's amazing about this team and just being around them is they truly like one another. The, the chemistry is there, and you can see it on the floor. And it's amazing when teams play together and they play hard, the success that they can have. And we do that. And we, we make the simple plays on offense. We, make a, we, we kick the ball out to the open, open teammate. I mean, look at that game against Purdue. We had 22 assists on 29 made field goals. That's just good, solid basketball. And then defensively, when we're talking and communicating and flying around, playing intense defense, you know, we can play with anybody. And, you know, we just have to be, have, pay attention to detail on that defensive side, be physical. And Ken has, has kind of coined this term this season and is relentless. And, we, and when we play relentless basketball, we're really good. So how has the approach been? How do you like the demeanor and, and just how this team is leading up to this one? Because, you know, you always worry about the letdown game after you have a big emotional win like they just came off of. And, but I, I talked to players after the game, and, and they said the right things about, hey, we're going to enjoy this one tonight. But this isn't over. This is far from over. It's just the beginning of where we want to go. And so I guess how has that been applied leading up to – today and about to take the court here against Iowa. Absolutely, and you, you, you come to Iowa, one of our rivals, and, and you know, I think that how do, you, how do you build off that momentum from Tuesday, not the letdown piece, and I think the message from coaches has been really good on that, just how do you build on that momentum, how do you prove uh, that game on Tuesday wasn't just a one-game a one game deal, and you, and you look at how many quad one wins that this Nebraska team has, we have the same amount as uh, you know, the Arizonas of the world, the Yukons of the world. So you talk about that, you go, okay, we're in the same breath as those those Blue Bloods. Well, how do we keep that momentum? I think that has been a really good message for this team to to not have that letdown game here. And, and, and how do we build off a really fun performance on Tuesday and, and keep things rolling? This team loves playing in PBA. It's certainly proved to be one of the best atmospheres in the conference, but... Going on the road, how does this team put together what they are able to do in PBA and try to maybe still one on the road tonight and, and you know, a couple big road matchups coming up? Yeah, great question, too. I think we, we played fairly decent on the road. I mean, you look at Minnesota, obviously we played a really good first half, a big letdown in the second half. We still played well that first half. Then you look at... Uh, and then you look at Kansas State, played really good on the road at Kansas State and got a road win there. And Wisconsin, I thought we played well. We just didn't have that, that, that detail on defense. I thought we played okay defense, not great. So I think that's the, the, the fine line we have to walk there. So I think we can bring that intensity that you've seen against Michigan State and Purdue and Indiana at home and bring that on the road and try to replicate what we've done at Pinnacle Bank Arena and also what we've done, especially in Manhattan on the road. All right, uh, let's talk about tonight. Uh, what's, what are going to be the keys? Uh, Iowa leads the Big Ten in scoring uh, nearly 87 points a game. They've got five players that are in double figures are right there. Uh, defense probably going to be a big key tonight? Huge, absolutely huge. They're, they're undefeated when they score 85 or more, so we have to keep them in the 70s or less. So that's going to be a, a huge key. Not as good a shooting team that Iowa has had in the past. But they also live off steals. They're averaging eight and a half steals per game, so we have to take care of the ball. Don't let them thrive off turnovers. But really, the defense and the physicality and the rebounding is going to be the number one key and what I watch for here tonight in, in uh, Iowa City. Give us a key matchup tonight to watch out for. Well, I think it's Rink Mast. I think he's. I think Rink Mast is is a guy that can really get things going inside and out. They don't have a huge post presence like they have in years past with Garza. So I think Rink Mast is going to be a huge piece both inside and out. And then Bryce Williams, see if he can build off his nearly. Uh, the near triple double that he had on Tuesday, he's been really solid for us. So those two guys I'm watching, uh, Cricky's really, really good for Iowa. So I think it's going to be the big guys down low. Rivalry game. Um, what's your um, disdain for Iowa? You didn't, you weren't part of this rivalry, but now that you've maybe called it a few times, where does Iowa rank among your um, least favorite teams? <laughs> well, I would say there's one A and one B. There's a team up uh, up the road about 45 miles. That's one A, and Iowa's one B. <laughs> <laughs> These are fun, though, right? I mean, as a Absolutely. player, to get oh, to play that's, in that's, these that's, kinds that's, of rivalry you, games. That's, that's why you put the, the Husker jersey on. You want to play in these rivalry games and and, uh, and, and and play in the Big Ten and play in these these tough road environments, and that's why you come to the University of Nebraska. Well, are, are you and um, Kent ready to, to close the chapter and, and put together another performance and build off of what you did on Tuesday? Absolutely. We're fired up. We've been, I mean, this has been a long day, a late game. A Friday, we've been, we've been pacing around the hotel, so we're ready to rock and roll. All right. Well, have a great call. We'll look forward to hearing from you guys here in about an hour. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys.
And that is Jake Muehlheisen. and he'll be on the call with Kent here for our Huskers Radio Network broadcast of Nebraska and Iowa. Tip off at 8.30, but we have a full hour pregame show leading in to tip. Uh, Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Coming up, we're going to talk a little Nebraska men's tennis with head coach Peter Cobell. Keep it here. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Woodhouse GMC is bringing you more for the new year. With every new GMC purchase from Woodhouse, we're including three years of scheduled maintenance. Plus, with our current finance offers going on now, you'll save even more. Receive up to $7,000 off MSRP on the new 2024 GMC Sierra 1500 SLT. Woodhouse GMC, we are professional grade. With approved credit, must have 2009 or newer trade in to qualify. $299 off due to its signing. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the Hy-Vee Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the Hy-Vee Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for Hy-Vee Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. In America, the future belongs to everyone. Let's create yours with a built Ford Tough truck. Ford F-150 with impressive max towing capability and available pro trailer backup assist. So navigating tight spaces is as easy as turning a knob. Plus, with available pro power on board, you have power on demand. Be future ready with Ford F-150. Now get 2.9% financing for 72 months on a new 2023 Ford F-150. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. <laughs> cow chip throwing. Or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. 
Woodhouse Hyundai offers a streamlined car buying experience tailored to you. Browse our current offers and save up to $12,000 off the 2024 Hyundai Ionic 5 Limited. And when you shop Woodhouse Hyundai, you can rest easy with Hyundai Shopper Assurance. America's best 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Start your deal online at woodhousehyundai.com today. With approved credit, tax, title, license, extra. Must finance with Hyundai Financial and own competitive model. Two ninety nine dollars fee to signing. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Well, it's getting to be a very busy time here in Lincoln with uh, sports getting going, including Nebraska men's tennis has their season opener coming up on Saturday, a doubleheader against North Dakota and Creighton. And here to talk a little bit about that with us is Peter Cobalt, the head coach for Nebraska men's tennis. Well, welcome back. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. It's going great. Well, the last time we had you in, you were kind of just taking over uh, Taking over this program and implementing what you wanted to do, how is the, how have the last six months or so gone for you? Yeah, no, they've been they've been great. They've been great. It's been great having Ray here too. You know, I think we get along well. We see things the same way, and we have big ambitions. So I think that and just having all the guys really buy in too. Mm -hmm. I know it's always uh, it's always difficult when there's a, a change in the leadership of the program. So them buying into what we we believe and you know they're starting to believe it now i think it's it's been pretty cool just to see the revelation of everything kind of just from the fall and where we're at now so yeah what goes into that buy-in and getting guys to buy in like like your guys have <laughs> a lot of conversations a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings you know uh, the biggest thing is i think developing a relationship with each each individual player communicating with them is is crucial you know, and then, you know, I think once they are comfortable with you on and off the court, then I think you can really, you know, get the most out of them and, and, and maximize their potential here and, you know, just gaining their trust overall. But I think that starts off the court and talking and communicating and really building strong relationships with your guys. So, there you go. We had Calvin Mueller in here, and he had talked about how is really competitive in the practices. How much was that a part of what you wanted to implement throughout the fall is just practices and how the guys compete day in and day out when they're not even at competitions? Yeah, well, iron sharpens iron. And you know, I, I believe, Ray believes, that the, in, the environment you're in every day is, you know, what you become. You know, what you do every day, your habits you build every day, you know, that's eventually who you become. So every day in practice, we, we make an effort to make everything ultra competitive, you know, intense. We push them you know, just about to their limits every day because that's, I think, I truly believe that's how you get better. Um, or is it perfect? No, you know, but I think that's, uh, you know, that's part of the learning experience for me and for Ray, but, you know, I think the guys really bought into it and I think they really enjoy those types of practices, you know, changing it up, you know, they don't know quite what's going to happen every day at practice. It's, it's not mundane at all. It's intense. It's, it's exciting. Um, and, yeah, it's fun to coach too, so... What did you learn about your team throughout the fall season? <laughs> they're pretty tough. Yeah. They're pretty tough, yeah. They're tough. They're, a few of them are pretty funny. <laughs> um, but they're all really good kids. They're really good kids. They're great student athletes. You know, we had a really good uh, semester academically as well. You know, we won the academic uh, award last year for the number one uh, or the best, highest uh, GPA mm -hmm. for Husker Athletics in the men's uh, uh, men's sports so our goal is always to try and do that again and we we had a really nice semester academically as and also we had some special accomplishments in the in the fall too but you know that's all that's all great and the guys know that was a it was a great fall but now all the focus has turned here into the spring and I think they're all ready to go Calvin Mueller and him winning the Big Ten singles title uh, first Husker to ever be able to do that Take us through that run, uh, what started clicking for him and how he was able to do what no other Husker's been able to do. <laughs> yeah, so Calvin, um, you know, he's one of our most talented players and he's very gifted. And, you know, it's, it, wasn't, it, it hasn't been, you know, the easiest fall for him. You know, Ray and I had to sit down with him and have a, a, a talk with him and, and make sure that his, his, uh, his goals were aligned with ours. And I think after we had that conversation, that's when he really started to make his, uh, his jump where... He was starting to, he's, he's now, you know, starting to reach his potential, but there's no doubt with his tennis. 
he's always had his tennis from the day he stepped on campus, you know, uh, three years ago. I, I wasn't here, but, it, you know, everyone always spoke about how he hits the ball, and, you know, and uh, how he moves and, and everything like that. And now I think he's starting to connect all the pieces here. You know, it's still a work in progress, but just like it is for everyone. But he's, uh, I think he's starting to see the, see the light. So, Visiting with Peter Cobell, the head coach for Nebraska men's tennis, you had done a an in our voice series, which is a you know just kind of a in your own voice type of written article that goes on Huskers.com, and you kind of talked about your journey. But one of the things you had said was that was one of the the your favorite moments of your coaching career so far is when Calvin Mueller won that title. Why was that so spe so special to you? Yeah, I mean, as a coach, it's uh, it's really rewarding to see your guys do well. And you, you have a plan in your head of how you want the program to look and how you want them, the players to play on the court. And, and you're not ever quite sure if it's the right thing or not. And just, uh, you know, personally, for me, it's, it's, it, it was nice to, to be there and watch him play his first round, second round, you know, all the way through the tournament and just see him evolve and see his confidence grow. And, you know, all the other schools are there in the Big Ten, and they're, they're, they're all paying attention. You know, Shunya was also in the semifinals of that event, too. So we had two guys in the semifinals of the Big Ten individual tournament, which I think is huge and, you know, kind of makes a statement at the end of the fall saying, like, hey, Nebraska tennis is, uh, is coming. You guys better be ready. So. It's awesome. You also had a doubles team that did well. Anton and Nick, tell us about those guys and, and why they work so well together, why they were able to have such a successful fall. Yeah, well, um, I'll start with Nick. Man, Nick's, a, Nick's as tough as a shovel. He's, a, he's, he's the toughest guy on the team, for sure. And he just, you know, he's, he's playing through a lot of uh, injuries. And you, you'd never know if you uh, saw him or talked to him. And I think Anton, it, it, you know, he's only been here for one semester now. This is his second semester with us. But he, he's from that same breed. He's a really tough boy. And I think they just gel well together. They have a lot of respect for each other. They're both very aggressive tennis players. They like to come forward and attack. And I think that's a great recipe, for, especially for doubles. You have to be the team that's attacking. And uh, we stuck them together at the beginning, hoping that it would work. And, and they bonded, and they, they really clicked. So the, you know they're going to start out as one of our best doubles player, uh, pairings, and, and uh, I see big things from coming. So, Is that a process with doubles teams? I mean, is it something where you can move people around, or is it you want to let them develop some chemistry and, and knowing how to play with each other? Well, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a coaching question. I, I believe that, you know, you, you try and find the pairings in the fall, and then in the spring, you really try and, you try and focus on getting them to figure it out as opposed to, moving pieces around all the time. I think when you move pieces around, it, uh, you break up the chemistry, you know, you build chemistry. It's like a relationship. It doubles mm -hmm. as, a, as a close knit relationship. And the longer you play together, you, you see the small intricacies of what they like to do, how they return, how they react to uh, pressure moments. You just get to really know that person. So uh, trying to Trying to keep them together as long as possible, keeping the doubles lineup together as, as long as possible, I think is important. I, I don't think, you know, you know, ripping it apart, you know, these are conversations I, I had with Ray, you know, and he also agreed and, you know, he was a big proponent of that as well, too. So getting, getting you know, trying to figure out the solutions as opposed to ripping up something is priority one. How do you go about in the first place just figuring out who will be good pairs together? Because, you know, again, when we talk to you, you talk about how important that doubles point is. And so finding the right um, kind of build between those pairs that enables you to, to have a good shot at winning that doubles point. How do you guys go about that? Sure. Well, there's, there's tactical things and then there's like uh, team energy things, um, experience things. There's a, there's a big equation in my head, at least, <laughs> that... Uh, that I like to think about, you know, I try and have someone on the court that has a lot of experience. I think that matters. You don't want to have two young guys on the court together in a big moment that's tough to overcome. You know, how, how well do they serve? How well do they return? You know, do they, do they get along with each other well? Is it a relationship that might look good on court, but, you know, off the court they're not as close as maybe they would be with somebody else? There's, there's a lot of things that go into it, and 
it's tough when you have four new guys in the team to try and figure all that out in one semester. But you kind of, as you pay attention, you see who gels with who, and you know they also give our feedback to us too. The players will give feedback to uh, to Ray and I, and, and and you know you kind of get a feel for it, and you kind of you know you, you, the, as the fall evolves, you kind of get a a little taste of what it could could be. Mm -hmm. So when we saw Nick and and uh, Anton. They bonded straight away from the beginning, so that was kind of an easy play for us. But, but yeah, there's there's a big. I, I try not to think about it too much because <laughs> it <laughs> drives me crazy. But there's a lot of pieces that go into it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, tell us about the rest of your team. Uh, what can Husker fans expect if they come out and watch you guys play? Um, what's what are some of the things to be looking out for for this team? Yeah, no, we're we're gonna have a lot of energy. You know, uh, you turn tennis on right now and. This week, you'll see the Australian Open, and you'll see you know professional tennis played at its highest level in the Grand Slams, and that's a totally different environment to what you'll see at the uh, Hibner Tennis Center. You're going to see uh, lots of energy. It's going to be loud. The guys are going to be. It's going to be fun, a fun environment. Uh, they're going to be competing really hard. You're going to see nine guys out there, 11 guys on our team total. Nine guys out there that. Are willing to do anything and everything for Nebraska and for each other, and uh, hopefully a few wins. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking for specifically out of your guys, out of the, your team in the, these first two kind of competitions, and seeing how they perform right out of the gate here? Yeah, just to go out there and dominate. Mm -hmm. That's the you know you can't ever you can't ever guarantee wins. You, can, you know losses are going to happen, but you go go out there with the killer instinct. Like hey, like not today. Or, you know, this is ours. Like, see you later. That kind of attitude. Um, just relentless energy. You know, you know, a strong, you know, will of competition and and ultimately have fun and enjoy it too, because <laughs> this is supposed to be fun too. Absolutely. Let's get a couple more for you. Um, your sister Maddie joined the women's staff. Uh, yep. How special has that been to get to kind of share this with her? It's really cool. It's really cool. I think you know. In, in today's culture in the United States, it's really easy, you know, once you finish school, you kind of pack your bags and say bye, and then it's really easy to be separated from your family. Um, and it's to have my sister here in Lincoln, you know, we're both from Columbus, Ohio, to have her around, it's nice just to like, hey, let's go grab dinner, or like, hey, let's, uh, her office is literally right next to mine, too. <laughs> she can like knock on the wall and like, I can hear it. So like, we're, we're close enough, but uh, but no, it's great, and she's uh, you know everything I've heard. She's been doing a great job with the women's team, and and I expect to have see them do uh, some really cool things this year too. So, and another part of that article, you just talked about how much you love it here, and you've kind of grown to love it even more. Yep. Uh, take us through that. Why has this been a place that you've really fallen in love with? You know, I've been thinking about it, and I, it's hard to put my finger on exactly what it is. It's just like uh, I don't know if it's the aura of. The history of everything here. I don't know if if it's just the people, how nice everybody is, how welcoming everybody is. I've, I've yet to meet anyone that's been rude, or <laughs> in a in a hurry, or not willing to help, or you know, or give a recommendation. It's just like it's just a really big family, like the whole city. It's 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 kind of unique. It, I've you know I've been all over the world. I've traveled, and played tennis everywhere, you know, and this is kind of the only place where everything feels like home mm. so that's I think for me that's the coolest part just right. knowing that everyone is is like that here and then just for you as a head coach of this program the opener just throughout the season what does it mean to you guys to have some support out there at Hebner um, as you guys battle really open up the season but uh, Big Ten's always tough as well yeah no I mean it'd be great to have as many people come out as possible I know the weather isn't, isn't great and it's going to be chilly but it's nice and warm inside yep. 70 degrees beautiful nice facility and ultimately it, you know it, come out and support these guys they've worked really hard they've worked really hard and they're ready to show it you know i think i think there's something special inside this team and and uh, i'm really excited to see it and I, I for me i hope that they represent the school and the state of Nebraska, the city of Lincoln, the, the, the right way and, and the, the Nebraskan way. So, Awesome. We're looking forward to it again. It's coming up on Saturday. Uh, North Dakota is at 11 a.m. and then Creighton is at 4 o'clock. And a free admission, right? 
Free it's admission. also something to note, too. Always, always free for tennis, so you're always welcome. We try and do some promotional things, too, here and there. Um, this weekend, it'll just be free admission, but we'd love to have everyone come out and, and support the guys. And a doubleheader, is that a challenge for you guys out of the gate here? How do they handle that? Yeah, so we've been working hard at practice, so you know, now it's more uh, trying to get them ready, get it, make sure they're healthy, and uh, yeah, doubleheaders are never easy, but are, are we prepared the right way all fall, and we should be ready to go. Awesome. Well, best of luck again. North Dakota, 11 a.m., Creighton, 4 o'clock, out there at Hebner on Saturday. Appreciate your time. Thanks, Jessica. And best of luck to Peter Cobalt and the men's tennis team as they get their season rolling coming up on Saturday. We've got to step aside for a break here on Sports Nightly. Uh, we got much more to come here on the show coming up. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. DIY, didn't you just call an electrician? The online videos can only take you so far, and John Henry's is here to pick up where you left off. With our full service electrical department, John Henry's is prepared to tackle all of your electrical needs from a simple outlet change to a full panel replacement. We've got you covered. Call John Henry's to schedule today. John Henry's plumbing. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres solutions for every field. Welcome back to Sports Nightly. We've got some fireworks going on inside Devaney. Husker Wrestling, the number four team in the country, hosting number two, Iowa, and we are underway. So to kick things off at 125, Iowa takes the win there as uh, Drake Ayala knocks off Caleb Smith. So they take the three nothing lead. And then here comes 133, Jacob Van D. And uh, he is wrestling the seventh ranked uh, wrestler in the country at 133, Brody Teske. And currently he's holding on. Jacob Van D give, gives the Huskers three points here. Uh, he knocks off Teske 10 to four, I believe was that final. So huge win there for the Huskers at 133. That ties the duel up at three. So um, it's uh, Iowa, Nebraska going on right now. Uh, first win for Van D this season against a ranked opponent, and that was a huge one and a huge team points too. Um, as we move into uh, really the the heart of the Husker lineup that uh, really gets things done with Peyton Rob, uh, uh, Brock Hardy, and Ridge Lovett there. All right, so uh, it's fun right now if you're. Well, I guess you're listening to us, but uh, Big Ten Network is where you can uh, catch all of that action. But 
Fun stuff over there. Nash Hutmaker is in the lineup. So we had heard from Mark Manning uh, last night that could see him, but it was uh, either or. But he was in the lineup, so he is going to wrestle tonight. And I looked up a little bit on uh, who his opponent will be. It's Bradley Hill for Iowa. He's a redshirt freshman. He's 12 and 4 on the season, and he is ranked number 25. But this is a big duel for. Uh, the Huskers tonight. So it's going to be exciting fireworks all throughout and then closing with a bang there with a Nash Hopmaker wrestling at heavyweight. So last night, uh, we were, women's basketball was going on and some news broke regarding former quarterback here, Casey Thompson, who transferred to FAU. He announced that he is going to be going back to play his seventh season at Oklahoma. He's from Oklahoma City, his dad and brother. So Charles Thompson played there at Oklahoma, and then brother Kendall Thompson was a quarterback there. But Casey is going to go back to Oklahoma for his seventh season. He put it on his social media last night. But, you know, the Sooners have a, a true freshman quarterback that started for them in the Alamo Bowl, Jackson Arnold, and they are really, really excited about him and uh, that he's the, the future of the face. But certainly they needed a, a backup and to build some depth there with Dylan Gabriel transferring to Oregon. So Casey Thompson finding his home for his seventh season as he will head back and play at Oklahoma. He talked about being home with family and being close to friends and family and his, his church family there as his final season for college football. Well, uh, Cole, you on the mic? You are on the mic. Hey, I was going to ask you, no joke this week, huh? No joke this week. We got important matters, though, between wrestling and hoops tonight. So, But you will be back next week, right? As long as the schedule permits and as long as you permit. <laughs> Greg's, yes. Greg's not here to stop me this week. so Next week, I believe Thursday, we'll be able to, to slide your joke in. I thought about maybe having you do one tonight, but I didn't know if we'd have time. And, and you know, we love getting the reaction. No, I wasn't prepared tonight, and I have to run it by my riding staff which is my students, so <laughs> didn't have time tonight. But Yeah, I couldn't get it done, but next week you will be back for the joke of the week. How are you feeling about the matchup tonight? I feel good about it. I, I don't think Iowa is going to have that much of a crowd. You're talking hoops, right? Yes. Yep. I don't think Iowa is going to have that much of a crowd because the weather is just about as bad there as it is here. That could be uh, very much in our favor. So we'll have to see. Uh, it's always interesting to see how a team performs after a huge win so absolutely look to bounce back uh, appreciate it and uh, you'll be producing right for jake and kent yes you and i will back there all right woodhouse auto family is your trusted auto partner with 20 brands and 20 convenient sales and service locations we're making car buying on your terms visit us online at woodhouse Dot com. Brock Hardy is now out on the mat for the Huskers. He is taking on Real Woods, the number one wrestler in the country at 141. So this is a huge mac matchup. Brock at number seven. So that is uh, that about is just getting underway at 141. But again, all tied up at three. So should be a fun one. All right, coming up here in uh, the seven o'clock hour, we have a short. Short hour, just one segment for you guys as we will uh, be sending things over to Jake and Kent for pregame starting at 7.30. But we will hear from Derek Walker, who was a big part of helping Coach Hoiberg lay the foundation. He was uh, instrumental in what the Oscars did last year in really developing the chemistry, the defense, a lot of the things that have carried over into how this team is playing this year. Derek Walker was a big part of that. So I got a chance to chat with him. He was in town for the Purdue win and I uh, got a chance to chat with him for it with a, about a lot of different things. So that conversation is coming up next. And then, of course, all the pregame festivities get underway at 730 right here on the Huskers Radio Network. All right, more to come. Keep it right here. And uh, again, stay warm, stay safe. We'll be back with more and Derek Walker coming up right after this. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Woodhouse Lincoln wants to redefine your driving experience with our stunning lineup of Lincoln vehicles. Lease a 2023 Lincoln Nautilus for $499 a month for 39 months, 10,500 miles per year. Come visit us in store off 114th and Giles Road or online anytime at woodhouselincoln.com. With approved credit, security deposit waived, $2,500 down payment, plus first payment and $299 dock fee due at signing. Offer expires January 31st, 2024. See dealer for details. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. 